click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any classes hello students welcome to the class now we shall continue with the second phase of mitotic cell division that is metaphase here also for the sake of understanding we are dividing the metaphase as the early metaphase and the late metaphase firstly early metaphase as we studied from the prophase that by the end of prophase there is a complete disappearance of the nuclear membrane so that indicates the beginning of metaphase that means the complete disappearance of complete disappearance of disappearance of nuclear membrane nuclear membrane marks marks the beginning of beginning of metaphase which means by the end of prophase the nuclear membrane is disappeared completely and the chromosomes which are present in the nuclear membrane now they are suspended within the cytoplasm so now the cell will appear like this in the early metaphase it is the centrioles which are moved over to the opposite pole and they have produced the asters and also there is a production of spindle fibers like this and the chromosomes are present or they spread in the cytoplasm like this so this is the early metaphase in the early metaphase there is a complete disappearance of nuclear membrane and the centrioles have moved towards their opposite poles completely and as a result of complete disappearance of the nuclear membrane the chromosomes are present suspended in the cytoplasm and since the mitosis or the separation of chromosomes is taking place in the cytoplasm such type of mitosis is called as extra nuclear extra nuclear mitosis or it is also called u mitosis that means during the mitotic cell division if nuclear membrane is completely disappears and the separation of chromosomes takes place in the cytoplasm such mitosis is called as extra nuclear mitosis or u mitosis it could be important for the competitive exams and in some other organisms or some type of cells the separation of chromosomes will take place inside the nucleus that means the nuclear membrane will not be disappeared completely so you can write it as a no because it is important for competitive so here in some organisms or we can say majority of the organisms the nuclear membrane will disappears and the separation of chromosomes takes place in the cytoplasm such type of mitosis is called extra nuclear mitosis or u mitosis and in some other the nuclear membrane will not disappear separation of chromosomes takes place in the nucleus itself or nuclear membrane itself which means the nuclear membrane will be present as such formation of chromosomes separation of chromosomes will take place inside the nuclear membrane such type of mitosis is called 
intranuclear intranuclear mitosis or pre mitosis pre mitosis and in some other like protist in protist like organisms the nuclear membrane will not disappear and the centrioles also present inside the nucleus that means here is the cell and here is the nuclear membrane the centrioles and the chromosomes are present in the nuclear membrane this is nuclear membrane within the nuclear membrane there is a presence of centrioles as well as the chromosomes such type of mitosis is called intranuclear intranuclear and centric here the term centric refers to the presence of centrioles inside the nuclear membrane so such type of mitotic division is called intranuclear and centric i'm not referring or here i'm referring and because centric term is used for referring the centrioles which are present inside the nuclear membrane so keep it as, as a note because it is important for competitive exams and now we shall continue with the process as i told in the early metaphase there is a complete disappearance of nuclear membrane and the chromosomes will get spread in the cytoplasm and to the chromosomes there is a attachment of spindle fibers that means here the complete uh, mitotic apparatus has been formed i told in the last class pro the prophase is characterized by the uh, developing of mitotic apparatus which includes centrioles asters and the spindle fibers so this is the mitotic apparatus which is formed already and now here the spindle fibers are get attached to the chromosomes so there is a special place for the attachment of spindle fiber to the chromosome and one more thing you should remember here during the metaphase the chromosomes are formed completely the chromosomes are formed formed completely that means the chromosomes with two sister chromatids are get formed in the metaphase so uh, wherever you see in the reference books or in any but textbooks you could see metaphase chromosome that means don't think uh, there are other other chromosomes in other phases no not at all but the complete structure of chromosomes can be studied in the metaphase that's why they refer metaphase chromosome so one chromosome it consists of the structures like centromere chromatids and all and those are clearly visible under microscope only in the metaphase that's why they refer metaphase chromosome so during metaphase the chromosomes are formed completely with the two sister chromatids two sister chromatids and centromere and each centromere is attached with a special type of proteinaceous cap like structures here and there two proteinaceous cap like structure and they are called kinetochore they are called kinetochore c o r kinetochore and remember the kinetochores are the place for the attachment of microtubules kinetochores are the place for the attachment of attachment of microtubules 
micro figures of spindle fibers which means spindle fibers are made up of a fiber like structures or the thread like structures called microtubules and microtubules are in turn made up of the protein called tubulin so here the many microtubules are present in one spindle fiber that you should understand so the kinetophores are the place for attachment of microtubules of spindle fibers which means this is a spindle fiber within the spindle fiber there are microtubules and they get attached to the chromosome at a place called kinetophore and this is the structure what we can see in the metaphase and now once all of the chromosomes are get attached with the spindle fibers on both the sides like this they are not attached from one side they are attached from both the sides so both the sides there is both the sides of the centromere they contain kinetophore to each kinetophore there is a attachment of spindle fiber from the opposite end so say for example here is a centromere and here is a kinetophore and from here there is attachment of one spindle fiber and from here there is attachment of another spindle fiber so this is the structure what we can see here due to the contraction and relaxation action of spindle fibers all of the chromosomes are get attached or they get arranged at the center of a cell or we can say center of a mitotic apparatus hence there is a formation of metaphase tree so that we can study in the late metaphase in late metaphase what happens is i told in the early metaphase there is a attachment of spindle fibers to the kinetophore from both the ends so due to the contraction and relaxation action of spindle fibers the all of the chromosomes are get attached or arranged at the center like this so this is the cell and here the chromosomes this is one chromosome as i told in the last class i am taking only four chromosomes so that we can have a track of chromosomes so that's why i am writing only four here you could see the difference here the chromosomes are spread in the cytoplasm here and there but by the late metaphase what happens all of the chromosomes are get attached or sorry they get arranged at the center of the cell like this and he, even there is attachment of spindle fibers like this okay so when you observe this this is the diagrammatic representation when you observe under microscope the cells are very small like this when you observe under microscope you could just see the chromosomes which are present arranged like this so just it will just appear like a plate at the center there is a plate we just it just appear like a plate present at the center of the cell so that's why this arrangement the equatorial arrangement of equatorial arrangement of arrangement of chromosomes chromosomes at the center at the center of a cell or we can say at the center of a mitotic apparatus will forms will forms will forms a metaphase metaphase plate or you could refer it as equatorial plate equatorial plate both are the same so just you can understand now at the early metaphase what happened 
there is a complete disappearance of nuclear membrane. Hence, the chromosomes are present spread in the uh, cytoplasm. By the late prophase, what sorry, late metaphase, what happens is the all of the chromosomes of a cell will get arranged at the equatorial or at the center of a cell. The structure is referred as the metaphase plate or the equatorial plate. Why we are referring like this? Because when you observe the cell which is present in a metaphase under the microscope, just it appears like a plate present at the center of the cell. That's why we are referring it as an equatorial plate or the metaphase plate. Okay. And here some of the microtubules or uh, sorry, some of the spindle fibers are attached to the chromosome and some of the spindle fibers are present from one pole to another pole like this. So based on that we can classify the spindle fibers as two types. One is continuous fibers. Continuous fibers are the spindle fibers which are present from or which extended from extended from one pole to another another pole centrioles. That means we know that the centrioles are the sites for the arrangement of microtubules or the spindle fibers, those spindle fibers which are started from this centriole and they ends up with the other centriole. Such fibers are referred as the continuous fibers. And the another type is chromosomal fibers. Chromosomal fibers. And the chromosomal fibers are the fibers, spindle fibers which arrive from one centriole and they end up at the centromere of chromosome. So here, do you put the represent like this? These are the centrioles and here the spindle fibers which arise from here to here, they are called continuous. Continuous. And those spindle fibers which arise from the centriole and they end up at the centromere of a chromosome. Like this. So this is called chromosomal fibers. So these are the important events which are taking place in the metaphase. So, in the next class, we shall continue with the anaphase. Next to the metaphase in the anaphase, we shall continue that in the next class.